I received a mass. I received a masses from one of my very beautiful YouTube friends, Neha. She's asking me to solve this question. Uh, it's related to the first term. So let's take a look. And I think this question is going to help a lot of people. So let's try to work on this. A uh, metallic right circular cone of 20 cm high, whose vertical angle is 60 degree, is cut into the two parts at the middle of its height by a plane parallel to its base. If the frustum so obtained be drawn into a wire of diameter 1 over 16 cm, find the length of the wire. Okay, so the question is saying something like this. If we have a cone, let's see if we have a right circular cone, something like this. Uh, let's say this is the base. Alright. And uh, the things information we have received here from the question is uh, height 20 centimeter. Okay, so the height we have got of this cone, this is 20 centimeter. Okay, next thing, the vertical angle is of 60 degree. This angle is making 60 degree. All right, and cut into the two parts at the middle of its height by a plane parallel to its base. So just at the middle means if it is 20, so let's say at 10. All right, uh, above this. We have 10 centimeter and below this we have 10 centimeter all right and we're going to cut it exactly at the middle all right then uh, the the plane base you know this uh, base of the plane and here the circle after cutting you will get this both will be you know parallel this both will be parallel so uh, finally it means we're going to get a, a, a first term all right so our first term is going to be now after cutting you know our first term will be something like this right whose height should be uh, 10 centimeter because it has been cut at the middle and now uh, further it's saying if the first term so obtained be drawn into the wire of diameter now uh, from this first term you know from this first term what we're going to do we're going to make the wire all right wire we're going to make uh, let's say this is a very lengthy wire I don't know the length all right but I know one thing, I know the diameter of this. Diameter is actually 1 over 16 centimeter. So I need to find out the length of this. What is the length of the wire we can make from this frustum? If we have this metallic frustum and if we melt it in a high temperature, then we can convert it. We can draw it into the very lengthy wire. And the wire should be of diameter 1 over 16. All right. And how much lengthy it is? We need to find out the length. So uh, to find out the length, you know, first uh, I want to tell you here. The total material we do have, you know, is this. And from this material, uh, we are going to make this much very lengthy wire. It means the total volume of this, you know, the volume of this quantity and the volume of this lengthy wire, both should be equal. Because this is metallic and this is completely filled, you know, there is no gap at all. Don't imagine like that. It's completely made with the metal and it's fully filled. And with those fully filled metals, by melting, we need to make a very lengthy wire. So the volume of this and the volume of this both will be equal. So first we need to find out the volume of this and then we'll equate that volume with this and while equating we'll get the, uh, get the uh, length of this wire. All right. So how to find the volume of this? So to find the volume, definitely we need few informations. All right. So information, first information, we need the radius of this. We need the radius of the lower one also. So how to find the radius? To find the radius, we need to do a little construction. Uh, we need to we need to draw a line like this. All right. Let's say this is the center. OK. Let's say the lower radius is R1 and upper radius is R2. OK. So if we cut at the middle, if we do this construction, this is perpendicular, then you know that uh, in a cone, this side as well as this side, both are uh, exactly equal. I should select triangle it is. You can say, let me give the name A, uh, B, C. If you just take at the uh, triangle A, B, C, then this whole length and this whole length are equal. All right. So definitely I can say that half, in half portion also this length and this length will be equal. So if two sides are equal, then uh, their angle should be also equal. And definitely this angle will be 30 degree. All right. And this angle will be also 30 degree. All right. So if this is 30 degree, now uh, let me give name. This is B dash and this is C dash. So we need to find out this uh, R2 as well as we need to find out this R1. Right. So we have a right angle triangle. This is 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. And we need to find out this. And we have one angle. And we know this height. This is 10 centimeter, you know. This is 10 centimeter because this is half portion of the whole height. You know, the whole height is 20. So the half will be 10. 
and that is what I'm telling this is 10 centimeter and we know this angle so we can use the trigonometry trigonometric ratio and which trigonometry is now applicable here that we need to find out now see here we need to find out this is if this is uh, angle then just opposite of that is this we need opposite we need perpendicular and we know the base so the relationship between the perpendicular and the base PB is 10 so I'm gonna use uh, in right triangle a let's say this is O and this is O dash so o a O dash C dash tan 30 degree tan 30 degree is going to be perpendicular opposite you know opposite over the base so perpendicular over a o that is going to be o dash c dash over uh, a o dash and if you see that then tan 30 is 1 over root 3 and o dash c dash so what is o dash c dash that is r2 actually right and a o dash a o dash that's 10 centimeter all right so therefore from here what we get that r2 is going to be 10 over root 3 centimeter we got the first radius here right and now let's find out the second radius so to find out the second radius r1 you know we need to again take the bigger triangle all right so what i'm taking now this time the triangle aoc all right aoc so in triangle aoc all right in uh, right angle triangle right triangle aoc again tan 30 degree will be equals to the opposite over adjacent I mean uh, perpendicular over the uh, this is opposite you know so the perpendicular over the base that is OC over the OA alright that's going to be OC over OA tan 30 is 1 over root 3 now OC over OA alright so what is OC OC is R1 so let's write R1 and OA so what is OA OA that's the complete height of the cone that is 20 centimeter right so that is 20 so therefore first R1 under the first radius another radius we get that is 20 over root 3 centimeter so we got the both radius now this is 20 over root 3 that is our R1 and we got R2 as a 10 over root 3 now we can easily find out the uh, find out the uh, volume of this first term right this much only volume of this much first term only only this much not the upper one upper upper one we are not counting okay this upper portion we are not counting just upper first terms volume that means uh, I mean I mean the volume of this first term and for this to find out the volume of this we know many things that is first radius we got R, uh, let's say this radius uh, we had suppose as R2 which is 10 over root 3 all right and the lower radius we know that is 20 over root 3 all right so uh, we know the height also h h is uh, 10 centimeter so the volume of now we can easily easily let me so here right here all right so the volume of uh, first term and i told you that this volume of the first term by melting this uh, metal we make this wire so the volume of this metal uh, metallic first term and the volume of this metallic wire both are equal so what I can write the volume of the first term is equals to volume of the volume of the wire volume of the uh, cylindrical wire all right okay so what is the volume of the first term we know volume of the first term is 1 over 3 pi h r1 square r2 square plus r1 times r2 and similarly uh, volume of the cylinder is pi r square h but in the case of h here we have l all right because uh, pi r square is actually this this area of the base times the height you know uh, volume is actually pi r square area of the base times the height height is here length you know how much lengthy it is so this is pi r square and this length that is pi r square l or when uh, when we used to take like this that time uh, we used to say pi r square and then this h we used to take so pi r square h it is to be uh, uh, in the previous videos um, in the early stage of uh, uh, finding volume of the cylinder so we got it now so let's put all the values uh, first we can cancel this pi pi let's cut it all right so we get 1 over 3 and then times h height of this first term is 10 and r1 r1 is 20 over root 3 square 20 over root 3 square and r2 square that is uh, 10 over root 3 square 10 over root 3 square and plus r1 into r2 
so it's going to be 20 over root 3 times 10 over root 3 and this r square uh, this is the radius of this wire right this is the radius of this wire so here diameter is you know this diameter is 16 diameter is 1 over 16 then I can definitely say radius will be diameter divided by 2 that is 1 over 16 divided by 2 that's going to be 1 over 32 centimeter so half of this you know diameter radius will be just half of the diameter so it will be half so it's going to be 1 over 32 r square you know so 1 over 32 square into this length l so now uh, let's do calculation it's going to be a little complex <laughs> 10 by 3 and now 20 square that is 400 over 3 all right and again 10 square that is 100 over 3 root 3 square that is uh, this this root will cancel up you know when we do a squaring now this 20 times 10 that is 200 divided by root 3 into root 3 that's 3 all right and similarly here we'll get 1 over 32 into 32 times l and now 10 over 3 times now 400 plus 100 500 plus 200 700 divided by 3 equals to 1 over 32 into 32 times l now i can say that 10 over 3 into 700 divided by 3 and this 32 into 32 will go here so it will be now 32 into 32 equals to l all right so l is going to be now this is 10 all right so 7000 into 32 into 32 divided by 3 into 3 that's 9 and i will get now let me use the calculator because calculation will be very lengthy so it's 7000 times 32 times 32 divided by 9 it's going to be uh, 7964444.44 centimeter all right and in the meter if you want to do then just divide by 100 so it's going to be 7964.4444 i'm just writing here 44 and meter so the length of the wire we get that's going to be 7964.4 meters so this was very lengthy lengthy wire we're gonna make from that metallic frustum all right 7964.4 meter i hope you understand this question and if there is any 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 questions to ask me regarding this video then please feel free to comment below this video or any question you need to ask me as almost like this of this frustum then you can send me the message also and don't forget to subscribe the channel bye bye